October League Code Challenge. The problem that we have in today is Path Sum. This is a fairly easy problem on lead code and I believe the subscribers of Coding Decoded will be able to solve this question by themselves. However, if you are new, then this video is for you. The question says you are given a binary tree and an integer value. What do you need to do? You need to identify whether there exists a path starting from the root to the leaf such that all these nodes that lie in that path sum together to give you the target sum value. If that path exists, you need to return true. If that path doesn't exist, you need to return false. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the presentation and I'll be explaining the algorithm behind it, why the PPT that I usually... Here you are given a binary tree, I have taken the same example and you are given a total value which is 22 in this case. What will I do? I'll perform the DFS traversal and I'll use recursion for this and I'll keep track of the target sum that I'm looking for as I traverse to the child nodes and I'll reduce the target node value by the node value that we have. For example, here the value is 5. So the target node that we are looking for gets reduced by 5 and I make the invocation on the rest of the two subtrees that I have. What I'm trying to say, let's understand it by the iteration. The target value given to you in the question is 22 and the current root value is 5. So you subtract 5 by 22, what do you get? You get 17. So 17 gets percolated onto the left subtree and the target for this subtree becomes 17 and the target for the right subtree also becomes 17. So let's start the iteration and we will exactly do the same step as I have just talked here. 17 minus 4, what does it lead to? It leads, leads to 13. So the target for the left subtree which is this subtree becomes 13 and since the right subtree of 4 is null, uh, we will not do any invocation over here. Let's proceed ahead and uh, the target for this subtree was 13. The current value is 11. 11 minus 13, what does it give you? It gives you 2. So the target for this subtree becomes 2 and the target for this subtree also becomes 2. 2 is the target that we are looking for. 7 is the current node value. And what do you see? You see here, this is a leaf node. Uh, you subtract uh, 2 by 7, you get minus 5. The target hasn't reduced to 0. As a result of which, uh, this is not a happy path. We will return false from over here. Because this is a leaf node and we haven't found the path that we were looking for. Let's walk through the right path. And let me just change the color of pen. Here you see the target that you were looking for is 2. The current node value is also 2. These two are equal and this node happens to be the leaf node. That means we have successfully identified a happy path. We will be returning true from over here. True gets returned from here. True gets returned from over here. True gets returned from over here. And the final answer that gets returned out turns out to be true. So we will be performing or of the re re result returned from the right subtree and the or of the result returned from the left subtree. So false minus false or true gives you true. As a result of which the final answer that gets populated to the top is true. And this is what we are going to do in the coding section as well. You can iterate over the right subtree by yourself. Uh, to conclude it further, let's look at the coding part. I have written the code in a very simple manner. I check if my root is null, I return false. Otherwise, I check if my target sum happens to be equal to my root.val. That means I have found a happy case. Along with this, I should also check whether the current node happens to be the leaf node. If that is the case as well, I return true. Otherwise, I iterate over the left subtree and I reduce the target by target sum minus root.val. Similarly, I iterate over the right subtree. I reduce the target by target sum minus root.val. Exactly same in both these uh, iterations just root one in one case we are iterating over the left subtree in other case we are iterating over the right subtree let's try and submit the sub accepted uh, with this we have successfully completed today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye